Hi, I'm Erin from Erin Reads, here to share with you the books that uh, found their way to me over the past week. The first one is uh, Tapestry, The Tapestry of Love by Rosie Thornton. Um, and this is one that I had seen on for the past few months, a lot of good reviews. Um, I wasn't convinced until recently that it might be something that I would enjoy. Um, when I did finally add it to my TBR list, um, Ms. B at Should Be Reading um, was kind enough to offer to send me her copy, um, and it did arrive, and I'm looking forward to reading it. It seems to be sort of... Um, the plot synopsis reminds me of, like, Under the Tuscan Sun. Um, there's a woman who moves from... Um, Fran or England to France to be a seamstress and um, gets caught up in the life there and um, uh, there's a bit of a romance element to it um, and it just it seems like a kind of nice gentle story with a kind of cozy setting and um, I'm looking forward to getting to it um, and then at the library after about five months on hold um, waiting for a copy I finally got running the books by um, Avi Steinberg um, and this is a memoir of a gentleman who was a a librarian in a prison near Boston, I believe. Um, and of course, uh, it's, you know, one of those books that you can't renew, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to keep it long enough to actually get to it, which is disappointing, but um, hopefully I will be able to get myself back on the list and check it out another time. Um, Haha, if I ever have any, you know, spare reading time. So we'll see. And then the next three I received um, for review from publishers. Um, the first one is The Sandalwood Tree by L. Newmark. And she's the one who wrote the Book of Unholy Mischief that I hear was supposed to be really great. I haven't read it yet. Um, this one piqued my interest because it's set in India, um, and it's uh, primarily set in the 1940s, I believe. Um, it's a couple who is in India on a research uh, grant, I think, and um, they're living in this um, kind of bungalow in a small city, and um, the woman uncovers the diaries and letters of a couple um, of English women, um, young women, who lived there like a hundred years before she and her husband have moved in um, and it just sounds uh, very interesting part of it's in letters part of it's um, not so uh, looking forward to reading that one it's out in April I believe um, as are the next two uh, Nazareth North Dakota by Tani Zerhelen I don't know if you can see the cover on this one I really like it um, it's kind of a map but it's shaped like an elephant um, and I'm not sure what to think of this one it says a modern retelling of the story of the young Messiah um, and it seems, I read the first chapter, and it's kind of this um, um, clearly force of evil um, on his way across the um, like western states. Um, kind of just has this sort of foreboding to it, but a little bit of humor. And I'm not really sure what to expect, but it does seem like it's going to be a really interesting book. So um, I believe that one's April as well. And so is The Be Loud Glade by Steve Himmer. Kind of a cool cover on that one too, and I'm not even going to try to summarize this one um, because I'm not sure that I could do it justice, but it does look interesting, um, and I am looking forward to that one as well. Um, those last two are from Atticus Books. Um, and that's it for me this week. I've got a lot of good stuff I really hope I can get to soon. Um, I would love to hear about your week. Uh, leave me a comment or send me an email, and have a wonderful week.